Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration of the white model 642 sewing machine. I picked this up from a thrift store a few years ago. The dials on the machine operate a little differently than I was used to, so I thought I would share the settings I use to achieve different stitches in case you were having similar problems. I did some digging around the internet, but I couldn't find a copy of the user manual anywhere. It came down to trial and error to figure this machine out. Threading the machine is easy and follows the same pathways as any standard domestic sewing machine. Thread the needle from left to right. Let's take a look at the available setting options. You can change the feed dog position with this dial, which is great if you want to do free motion quilting for example. Here's the length dial with the reverse stitch button in the center. There's also a lever for M and S. For the purpose of this video, we are going to keep the lever in the M position. Here is the stitch style dial which lets you change from the standard stitch to the fancier ones. Standard straight stitching or zigzag stitching can be achieved with the one that looks like a black M. The width dial allows you to change the width of your zigzag. Set it to zero for a straight stitch. This slider here allows you to change the stitch pattern. My favorite setting on this machine is this precious scallop stitch. None of my other machines have a scallop quite like it. Here's an example of the scallop stitch at a stitch length of one. that same scallop stitch again at a stitch length of 5. It's a much different look. And here it is again at a stitch length of 2.5. For these decorative stitches, you can only adjust the length, not the width. The width should be set to zero only. If you set an alternative width, you just get these weird things happening. Like this. What is even going on, right? Now I'm going to show you an example of each stitch style. I've set my width to zero and my length to three. Of course, you can adjust the length to any size you wish to adjust the output of the stitches. In order to change the stitch style, make sure that your needle's not in your work, otherwise you could break your needle. Hold down the pattern selection lever and drag it over to the far right. Turn the dial to your de desired stitch style, then hold it down and drag the pattern selection lever back to the far left position.
Overall, I wasn't in love with this machine. I completely free motion quilted this reindeer quilt with it, for example, but I just wasn't a fan of the adjustment levers. It didn't feel natural or intuitive to me. I'm sure with the original user manual, this machine would have been way more user friendly, but since I couldn't find the manual, I ended up reselling this machine to someone who could use it more than me. If you have this sewing machine, I hope this video helps so you make a little more sense of it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more sewing and crafting videos. Stay crafty, everyone!